Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan, Dan, the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 51, The Things They Carried, by Tim O'Brien. The Things They Carried was a great book. I read it back in high school, but I remembered none of it. I think I would have liked it back then, too, but I simply can't remember feeling one way or another about it. Maybe it was even a book others read while I read it for Whom the Bell Tolls, or some other war novel. This time, though, I read by listening to the audiobook. It's narrated by Brian Cranston which is the real reason I picked this book up. He did a fantastic job narrating it. That man can tell a story. And his gritty voice was perfect for this book. He did a fine job with the different characters, too. At first, I thought this book was pure fiction, and so I didn't like it because it just kept listing off the things they carried. Then I saw that it was a bit of a memoir or autobiography and a bit fictional stories drawn heavily from real things that the author or one of his friends went through. This book is valuable to America as it shows a slice of what it was like for some soldiers to go to war in Vietnam. There is startling imagery in this book. Many times you see it through the eyes of the soldiers who sometimes make light of things like corpses, just so they can get by. There were great descriptions of what the soldiers went through, and though the book is comprised of many short stories, it's kind of tied together with one long narrative of Tim's time at war as well. It also cuts to him going back as a father with his daughter and visiting Vietnam to the sites where he saw atrocities. If you want to know what it was like for many soldiers in Vietnam, I highly recommend this book. It was a great read, and one that I'm not ashamed high schoolers have to read, because they'll learn history, and I think they'll enjoy it. The last thing I'll comment on is the writing itself. Yes, these stories are important and should be read, but besides that, Tim O'Brien is a great writer. He knows his way around words, and pushes them into place in a way that really makes the stories shine. You can see, hear, sometimes even smell the experiences he's describing, and his prose is really a joy to read. Great book. Cool. Well, yeah, uh, it's kind of nice to review something that isn't a sci-fi or fantasy adventure, or I guess the last one was a supernatural horror thriller? (laughs) But, uh, yeah. So this book was fiction, but there's a lot of non-fiction elements in it, and uh, I really enjoyed it. I have great news for you, the listener of this podcast. If you're a huge fan of Bryan Cranston, the star of the hit show Breaking Bad, like I am, and you just love his voice, like... Seeing the show made me just know from from knowing his voice that if that guy read an audiobook, it would be fantastic. So that's why I picked up the book. I came to the audiobook for Brian Cranston, and I stayed for the great storytelling and writing by Tim O'Brien. And the great news for you guys, the listeners of this podcast, which is very thankfully sponsored by Audible.com, you can get a free copy of... The Things They Carried, written by Tim O'Brien and narrated by Brian Cranston. If you just go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a free 30-day trial of Audible's awesome service, which I am a member and I just love, and a free audiobook. Now, you can get any audiobook of your choice, but I highly recommend The Things They Carried, audibletrial.com slash Dan's book reviews. Check it out, and if you get a free audiobook through there, you're helping support the show. So thanks to Audible, 
and thank you, dear listener. Now let's get back to that review. Yeah, this was a very interesting sort of memoir slash fictional book about Vietnam. I'm so glad that I was not in Vietnam. Every soldier's experience was totally different, but from the smattering of experiences different soldiers had told in this book, it was a pretty awful and horrible experience, full of brutality and gruesome events, and um, it's good to remember these things and to know about them and learn about them. I thought it would be cool to start a podcast where I research a whole bunch on on one president and then do a podcast episode on it. And it would just be kind of like a, a podcast with one episode per president of the United States just working my way up, way up through the presidents because, honestly, I barely know anything about any of them. And I bet that's the case for a lot of people. But I would like to know more about each president, and I thought that would be cool. If you have any feedback on that, write the show at d-a-n-a-b-s-o at gmail.com that's danabso at gmail.com or just go to dan dan the art man and leave a comment in a blog post and i'll see it or hit me up on twitter facebook and all that i'm at dan dan the art man so um i think that there's a lot of great reasons to read this book for the history of it but also tim o'brien just used a lot of great sensory details to really make you feel like you were there in the story. I love it when authors do that. It's a great thing to do. I've been listening a lot to Dean Wesley Smith. Uh, He's got some free writer's workshops up on YouTube, and he talks about once he started putting all of the five senses into his stories, he started selling stories. (laughs) Uh, And Tim O'Brien does a great job of putting sights and smells and the way things sound and the way they feel and all that good stuff so great writing a good way to learn some of the history of the vietnam war and if you pick this up with the audiobook which you can get for free brian cranston just does a bang up job of narrating it his voice is incredible but he's also a great actor who's good at telling stories and That's the most important thing when you're listening to an audiobook narrator. If they can really tell a good story. And Brian Cranston certainly can. And he has an awesome voice, so it's just a win-win. So check out The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien, which you can get for free narrated by Brian Cranston at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. This is Dan. And that's all I got for you guys this week. I hope you're having a great week. Happy Halloween if any of you guys are listening to this soon after I post it. And uh, we'll see you next week. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at Dan Dan the Art Man. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.